I'm Danica with Couponing at its finest and this is just a really quick little meat haul I'm not putting up on YouTube I'm just doing this on Facebook real quick I um, just wanted to show you guys what I was able to get um, at one of the Hispanic stores here in the southwest region um, Mariana's I don't go in there very often but they had some okay prices on the meat um, if it's a little bit uh, noisy in the background we're trying to get ready for our school so sorry about that in advance Okay, and then my table is slightly cluttered because, like I said, we're trying to get ready. Plus, I'm eye-botting, eye-botting, <laughs> doing my eye-bottas with my receipts right here and then reorganizing my receipt box. Okay, now, right here I just have a bag of, a five-pound bag, which this is actually terrible. One of the other stores, they have um, a ten-pound bag for 99 cents. This was $1.79 for a five-pound bag. It, it's kind of terrible in comparison, but this is what um, the store I was at at the time, so this is what I got. And then I did get um, a couple of steaks right here. These are, I have them backwards. These are shoulder clod steaks. These were, I think, one, two, three, four, five, five steaks per pack, $3.56 per pack. And then right here, I have a bag, uh, well, actually, two packs of carrots. These were um, two packs for $1. So I just got two. And then right here, I do have some chicken breasts, but they're like steak. They're like um, thin cut and like kind of pounded down. Well, no, not pounded down, but they're like really thin cut. So these were, I think I got three packs of these 227, 224, 224, 238. Oh, I guess I got. Four packs <laughs> but anyway um, I'm gonna do um, chicken sandwiches with these probably with fries or something like that okay and right here I do have some um, neck bones We've got four packs I think it's four packs one two no I got three packs of neck bones these were 473 488 and 521 for those I'm gonna make the carrots and potatoes with that and then under here, I did just get some chop steak. Um, let's see, because I don't want this meat on my table. Five fifty, because I'm gonna combine it with this right here. I'm not fond of, but I got it just because it's kind of cheap. Um, the leg meat, where they debone the um, actual chicken legs, and you have just the meat. It's very, very fatty. I have to do a lot of butcher work to this, but I'm gonna combine this with the chopped um, steak meat and make either tacos or chipotle burritos but the leg meat was four dollars and fifty eight cents and I can usually get it cheaper than that but that's what it was for today four dollars and forty two cents for two packs of that so not bad and right here I just have some regular chicken legs these were about $3.89 and I got two bags because they were 59 cents a pound which is a really really good price <clears throat> And then I did get fruits and veggies. My daughter went with me, so we picked out, um, she got some peaches here. They were 69 cents a pound. I got these. And whoever watches this video, if you guys have had these or, or, or in Mexico, Southwest region, I know I have other countries that's um, in our Facebook group too. These are the cactus pears. I got a red one and a green one. I asked this question previously, but what do I do with these? Somebody told me peel it and eat it. But what exactly can you do with cactus pears? I just got one of each color because I've never had these and I just wanted to try them. So just leave a comment below the video on what do I do with these cactus pears. <laughs> okay, and then also I did get some sweet potatoes. I think it was $2 and some change for these. I think I got about five or six of them. Um, I forgot how, how much were these? What? The sweet potatoes per pound. I think they were two pounds for a dollar, I think. And then got some apples. These were 69 cents a pound to for some just uh, gala apples. And then we got onions that weren't that great. Two pounds for one dollar, so got two pounds. Um, I did get um, four pounds of rice. I told you guys in a previous video, this is how I get my rice. I get it in bulk, and then I freeze it in Ziploc bags, and it lasts me for... Last time I bought rice, uh, I said it in my Kroger video the other day. Um, it's been maybe a year and three to four months since I bought rice, and this is how I do it. I buy it in bulk. It was uh, two pounds for a dollar, so I got four pounds right there, um, so that's two dollars. I'm going to wait for a better sale, but I just got some. And then I did get some red beans. 
some black beans right here. Um, I think the black beans were 79 cents a pound, so I got two pounds of that. I'll wait for a better sale. And I think um, the red beans were two pounds for a dollar, so I just got two pounds of that. I'll wait for a better sale. Okay, and then the um, I got some broccoli crowns here. I think it was two dollars and some change. They were um, 99 cents a pound. And then my daughter got some mangoes. These came up two dollars and some change. I think they were two for a dollar, and she got five. Oh, two dollars and fifty cent because they were two for a dollar. So she got five, so that they can have some fruit in the house, fruits, veggies, meat. That's mainly all I do at the Hispanic stores. Um, very rarely they'll have other things that are on the gray sale, like maybe if you are a toilet paper or downy. Sometimes they'll be on a decent sale, but you gotta really wait for those sales for the Hispanic stores. So if you have El Super. Um, Cardenas, Marcaton, and Marianas. Be careful what you buy in there, but they have really, really great meat, and their meat looks really good. I've been doing it since I moved to Vegas. It's been about four years now. <clears throat> so, yeah, just a couple of tips for you guys um, when you're doing your ad comparisons per week to see who has the best deal on what for, like, your meat, your fruits, and veggies. Okay, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and happy couponing with love. Bye. Bye.